Congratulations. Baby number three, right, is on the yes. way? Yes. That's yes. so exciting. Yeah. Are you are you excited or worried about being outnumbered or? It's like sometimes you just make poor life choices and you gotta <laughs> roll with them. We're and you insane. Roll with your We're insane. Yeah. yeah. Can I just show you something real quick yes. before um, we continue? Because I'm super proud of it. Okay. Look at this right here. <laughs> I did that. Oh my god. Me, me and eBay. Oh my god. That. I yeah, it's, oh, a, uh, it's a women's <laughs> medium, so it's tight. I love it, I love it. It'd be snug on me too, brother. Uh, so <laughs> how, did, how, did, how did your wife like let you know? Okay, so it was, uh, it was actually a beautiful <laughs> awesome. day. Like, we, uh, I'm eight years sober, yeah. so it was like my sober birthday, and she wrote me a card, and it was to say congratulations, and she was like. First of all, eight years sober. <laughs> yeah. I did it. That's incredible. All by myself, no, no help. No help at all. Nope. Yeah. Came in on a winning no streak. No support. Yep. It's been a <laughs> like, joyful journey the yeah. entire time. <laughs> that's, um, that's awesome, though. So she said, congrats. And she said, just so you know, on your uh, ninth sober anniversary, you're going to be a father of three. And so it was this like wonderful little revelation. And I was like, I knew it. You've been acting weird all week. I knew you were pregnant. <laughs> Women love to hear that. Yeah, you've been strange. <laughs> I thought you were moody. <laughs> you've been unusually kind all week. <laughs> Um, no. She went the other way. <laughs> uh, awesome. And then we went to a Diwali party that night at yeah. the White House. Oh, and my I, gosh, yeah, that's awesome. which I had never been to the White House. It was incredible. We dressed up, we got all gussied up. They took us through like four things of security. And it's a Diwali party, which is Indian New Year. It's how we celebrate. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, Indians like to eat food. We enjoy eating on Diwali. So the Southerners, and, um, yeah. yeah and, just uh, every day, not just like the yeah. one. A lot of yeah. comparisons yeah, yeah. between Texans and Indians. Yeah, <laughs> totally. There's a very fine line <laughs> separating us. Um, <laughs> but we get to this Diwali party, and Mr. President speaks, and Kamala Harris speaks, and um, Jill, President, Biden, yeah. yes, Jill Biden. Doctor, yeah. <laughs> Doctor Biden, yeah. yes. He's got a lot of titles. Ooh. Yeah, we sh I should have yeah. figured out what to call him before I sat on this couch. I know. <laughs> but uh, there was no food at this party. What? None. There were like hors d'oeuvres, finger foods. So was my it wife. Was it like COVID or something? Or? I don't know. I just think they don't know Indian people as well as they oh, should at this okay, point. Oh, okay, okay. But uh, my wife and I, luckily, my mom and dad live right outside of DC. They're about 25 minutes from the White House. Yeah. So we came, That's we cool. saw them speak, we got dressed up, we took some pictures, and then we went straight home and had a full feast at home with the family yes. on Did Diwali. Right. Like, yeah, exactly. I was like, Mom, we got, you got to do it up. Let's go. Yeah. So we had a formal dinner at home, which was really nice. I like that. Do you get home often? Do you get back home? Um, not, not really as so much as I should. that was quite special, though. The, yeah, the, you great. were in town and you got to do that? That's yeah, cool. Yeah, my parents love to have me home and yeah. tell me to stay there. My mom's like, there's a room in the basement. You can just come <laughs> back in. And you can be that guy living in your mom's basement. She's like, look, this, this acting thing, let's be honest, it's not really working out for you. <laughs> you should have been a doctor. <laughs> at the very least, a PhD. Oh, my God. Just come to the basement. There's an ensuite bathroom. Mm. You have everything you need. Mm, you don't want to be that guy. Um, well, speaking of family, um, we saw online that you that y'all got guinea pigs recently. Did you get your kids? I, oh my God! Your dog gets along with your guinea pig. My dog tried to eat our guinea pig when we were little. My dog. It's traumatic. My dog um, likes to eat other animals' feces. So she likes to hang out. Around. That's a dog thing. Yo, the, when we had the cat, she was all up in the kitty litter box. Yeah. And now with the guinea pigs, she's just straight up like mouth to the butt, just mm. like a feeder. Yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> <It's gross. laughs> like a feeder. But you know, I love guinea pigs. My wife wasn't sure think... about it. And what happened was my mom, uh, she works at NIH, National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. And at the time, this was like 25 years ago, they used to do, um, animal experiments. Like yeah. they used to dissect rats and, and things like that. And yeah. once, once upon a time, they got this guinea pig in the lab and everyone fell in love with it. And I showed up and I was like, mom, you can't, please don't cut this guinea pig open. Oh my I God, love that's this traumatic. Yeah, I was like, please. And my mother being the sweet woman that she is, stole the guinea pig from <laughs> NIH. She smuggled that <laughs> out in a cardboard box and picked me up from school one day and there she was. And so, so, and that guinea pig lived with us for years, probably several, you know, medical issues and things like that. But yeah. she, she was there with us for like four or five years. So 
when Tiare, my daughter, said she wanted guinea pigs, I was like, we got to do it. So like, stoked. They're a huge part of my childhood. Emancipating yeah. one from a government facility. This is a movie. Yeah, statute this of limitations is over. So, okay. <laughs> You Sorry, can't do, yeah. you can't do anything to my mother. <laughs> Speaking of like the White House, I, I, you brought that up a minute ago and I was like, when I went to the White House, I thought the crazy thing was there's all this security to get in, right? But then once you're in, literally me and my ex like walked around and we were like, I guess we can do this? Yeah. Like we just, I mean, I'm sure there's cameras everywhere obviously, but we just walked around. <laughs> like, I, I stole so, <laughs> so. <laughs> So many napkins, first of all. I didn't steal, but I left something. What'd you leave? I, I think it was jade. It was like a, it was a, one of the times I went. I, th I think I left a, a green piece of like jade for, for good luck. Oh, so cool. Just for, yeah, we need it, right? Like, yeah. We think differently, because I was yeah. trying to steal some books. Dude, I was like jade, sage. I was all the things they got, I was trying that's to do. So, they have the <laughs> presidential china just sitting on a wall. I'm not going to take a teacup. What, like, come on. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> what are we doing I definitely would have done that. I feel like, yeah, people would have come swarmed, down from the ce yeah, ceiling yeah. or something. But first, let's talk about your kids. You have a three-year-old, right? Is he potty trained yet, or are you still going through How it? How old is your son? My son's six. We're about to be seven, and my oh. daughter's about to be nine. He, uh... Look at that sweater yeah, style. He, he, my, my wife knows how to do it, for yeah. sure. We're trying to um, potty train him. Like, okay. we incentivize by giving him, like, Hot Wheels cars if he yeah. uses the toilet. Yeah. So he's got like a hundred Hot Wheels cars and is still dropping like adult sized grenades <laughs> in diapers. Yeah. He's very much against that potty. He's all it's about- It's amazing too how little they are and what comes out. It's astounding. It's, a, it's incredible. It's a, it's a war crime. Yeah. It's really, really, it's messed up. I know. And then he'll ask me to hold his hands and he'll nah. be like, breathe with me. Papa, Papa, oh Papa, breathe with me. My daughter used to do that. <laughs> Can you, can you go, can you go get mama, mama? <laughs> my daughter used to be like, can you hold my hands? And then she, like, I mean, I'm like, I don't think we need to be here for this. So, I know, right? I don't know. I we just, have to like, yeah. can you blink? Like private we have to time. stare so deeply into each other's eyes <laughs> yeah. right now? The only good thing is, is only my wife is allowed to clean the dookies. Like I'm not allowed to. Oh, they to. won't let, oh. So I'll be like, well, you don't want me. Sorry, no gagging for me today. Yeah, no. it's a crazy thing being a parent. Okay, here is a photo of your daughter. She's eight, right? She's gonna be eight in gonna... uh, a week. Yeah, there she, she is. She is fabulous and very Janis Joplin vibes right now going on, that, I like that's it. That's her uh, at Comic-Con dressed like Sheila Carrasco who plays Flower in Ghosts. Oh yeah. That's her in cosplay. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Although she would dress like that on a daily basis anyways. My daughter yeah. loves dress up as well. She'd yeah. be stoked. So does my son. Uh, well, everyone loves ghosts. Congratulations. Thank it's you. Such a success. So tell your mom you didn't need to be a doctor. She would disagree with you. She would. You should take that out. That, <laughs> yeah. That's not going to go over take well that out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So wait, tell us what's going on this season. Um, just the ghosts are getting to know each other better. There's more interpersonal relationships. It's a sexier season. It's edgier. And then Rose McIver, who plays Sam, and myself, mm -hmm. who plays Jay, we just are sort of in the middle of this whirlwind of characters. And yeah. for me, dude, I just, honestly, it's like being at home. I got kids running around that I ignore. I go to work. I got <laughs> ghosts running around that I ignore. And it's pretty much life and art are imitating each other Figure at this point. Figure it out. Yeah, like, what do we do? I'm like, I don't know. I, I'm staring at the wall pretending you're not here. <laughs> That's basically what it is. And to everyone who watches Ghosts and support us, um, thanks so much. It's really, like, become the people's show and the amount of... Is when he turned me on to it. Yeah, he yeah. loves it. Yeah, Jason. It's, it's just, it's so cool. I've had a long career of things that haven't hit and, yeah. and things that where you struggle to get eyes on them. So you to know be, what a blessing it is. Yeah, to be a part of something that's special to people is, is so yeah. deeply, it's such a blessing. So thank you, everyone. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And that's real, too, especially with chemistry with your co-stars, like yeah. really loving that environment. That's awesome. Your co-star, actually, uh, Danielle Pinnock was here and said that y'all have intense competitions is it on set? Do you get into this? Uh, not really, because I no. think I would win every single one. <laughs> you don't want to make people feel bad? No, no, we're fierce competitors. Yeah. Everyone from top to bottom. We have former professional athletes in the cast, yeah. our directors, our crew. We have table tennis. We have a basketball hoop. We got every kind of board game. It gets rough. Like, it's amazing that we stay close. It's amazing y'all get work done with yeah. all those fun things. <laughs> well, the, the funny thing about TV is you spend a lot of time Waiting. sitting around. Yeah. yeah. Hurry up and wait. So thank yeah. God we get along, and thank God those people are as beautiful as they are. We really, <laughs> really do love each other. Yeah. I know, I love that, I love that.
Um, when, when you made it big, though, um, I have to ask, you were, you're hitting with ghosts, you're doing all these things, you got Sexiest Man Alive, you got that? <laughs> it was the sexiest list last year, right? Yeah. Come on now! That is, my mom was like, they had to pick that picture? <laughs> <laughs> my mom was like, I think every yeah. dude I know that gets in this Please list is like, why did they pick that picture? That guy's like, oh, I'm here for my library card. <laughs> what are we doing? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm the sexiest 38 year old. That came out in like October, and I turned 39 in December. So I, I held the crown for all of like 45 days. <laughs> I've given it away. It was nice while I had it, but uh, I had to abdicate the throne. It's gone. That's awesome, though. Yeah, I it would, was cool. I would show everyone. Hey, yeah, oh, I mean, my wife was very happy about it. Yeah. It's, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Hey, look, look, look. Look, look, you're welcome. She's like, well, <laughs> well, you're 39 now, so it doesn't even count. <laughs> so, dream is dead. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> so, we talked about ghosts, but you also have a new movie coming out soon, right? Is it a rap music? Cool? Yes. Okay, I want to see it. I yeah, it's yeah. Uh, coming on Disney Plus. Thanks to everyone at Disney for helping us make a Disney movie. It's like a dream come true of mine. Yeah. It's called World's Best, and I wrote it with my friend Jamie King, and I wrote the music with my friend Charlie Bethel and Tommy Kale, who uh, directed Hamilton, is producing it with me. Wow. And it's about a young boy named Prem Patel. He's a math whiz, which doesn't go over very well at his school, yeah. and he finds out um, that his dad was a world famous rapper. And his dad has passed away because I wanted to play a ghost for once in my freaking life. That's and, cool, um, yeah. And I start to visit this kid and teach him how to become the world's best MC. And through our relationship and through his relationship, he kind of, it's a coming of age story and it's fun and sweet and full of music. And I grew up without having anyone who looked like me on screen. And yeah. my heroes were from all different areas of the world, but I never saw a South Asian kid in a lead role. And so yeah. for me, it was really important to live out that childhood dream through this kid, Manny Magnus, who we found, who's just exceptional. Um, and plus, I'm too old to play a 12-year-old. Um, <laughs> so, you tapped out, you were 39. No, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm 39, I'm dad, I'm dad now, I'm, I'm ghost dad now. Um, but we were just so excited, and I can't wait for you guys to hear the music and to, and to see the movie, it. yeah. All right, well, you did a freestyle for us last time you yeah. were here. So would you be willing to build on that this time? I don't know, maybe with my band. Would you be? Yeah, just absolutely. Saying, just saying, like, we, we need a topic. So how about parenthood in honor of your new little one? Yeah, yeah. How about I, I parenthood? Mean, I need you to help me vent, though. Because okay, I can do this. So Okay, so <laughs> um, I know you're, you have two kids. You have two, yeah. River Rose. And Remy B. And Remy B. Yeah. And I just want you to tell me a couple things, please, about both of them, if you don't mind, okay. that drive you crazy about them. Oh, the things I can say on air. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, okay, I'm gonna start with the son, because I need a minute on my daughter. <laughs> uh, my son, he never picks anything up. And yeah. my daughter is always surprised, she's about to be nine, y'all, always surprised about having to go to bed in her own bed mm -hmm. for some reason, like, and can't get in mine. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Get out! Yeah. Do they fight with each other? Yes, but they're also, they're equally buddies, but they're equally enemies. Yeah, they're frenemies. Yeah. Frenemies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But he, I don't understand. It's like he isn't capable, it's like, it's like the plague. He won't touch it again. Like it's on the floor, he already touched it. He's not gonna touch it and pick it up. I don't know what that is. All right, I think that might be enough. It, it's a lot, I can tell you. <laughs> well, I mean, I could get more, but I know this segment has to be okay, 90 seconds okay. or less. Okay, okay, let's walk over to the band. Let's do it, okay, do okay. It. <laughs> um. Okay. What am I doing? Because I can't rap. <laughs> okay, let's do it. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the things I do, uh, the things I do, uh. These are the things I do that make my mama go crazy. These are the things I do, yeah, the things I do, uh. These are the things I do that make my mama go crazy. Hey mama, it's Remy, yo look around, uh, all of my shit is all over the ground, uh, that's right, you need a little more wine up in your cup, cause you better guarantee that I'm never gonna pick them up. Hey mama, it's River Rose question in my head, but why the hell can't I sleep 
in your bed. I don't know, but get there. Come on, let me get up in them sheets. No, no. Please, mama, please, mama, I want to go to yeah. sleep. Yeah, oh. these are the things I do. Yeah, the things I do. Yeah, these are the things I do to make up my mama go crazy. These are the things I do. The things yeah, I do. the things I do. Yeah, these are the things that do to make my mama go crazy. It's Remy B. Show so 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 these are the things I do. The things I do. These are the things I do to make my mama go crazy. These are the things I do, I do, I do, I do. These are the things I do to make my mama go crazy. You are so good. You are too. That was great. I'm shaking. I just love that I said no, no. 